Hello! Hello, everyone! And uh, welcome to Level Up Your Decks. I'm gonna do some yoga today. Just making sure that you guys can actually hear me. <laughs> ah, yes, okay. Although it looks like you might be able to hear me on too many things. Okay, there we go. There we go. All right! Hello, perfect Kazuma. Hello, everyone. Okay, good. I'm glad sound is good. Uh, yeah, welcome. So today we're going to do some nice relaxing yoga and um, we're going to use a wall. So if you have access to a little bit of wall space, that'll be helpful. It's not imperative, but, uh, but yeah. Oh yes, Zuko, she's very playful right now. Say hi to everybody, Zuko. We'll see what she attacks during the stream. <laughs> um, yeah, so we'll go ahead and start. Uh, just remember... Take this at your own pace. Um, only do things that feel comfortable for you. Don't feel like you need to do anything that doesn't. You know your body the best. I'm just going to give you alignment and how the how to get into the poses. Uh, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, let's start. Today I'm going to use pretzel for music because this is going to be kind of a, a relaxing one. So I think it's okay if it's not curated. So I'm going to turn it down a touch. So you guys let me know if it ends up being too loud or anything. I'm sure it's loud right now, but we'll scoot away from it. Okay, um, so let's start either seated or uh, on your back if you want. We're just going to focus on the breath for a moment so you can close your eyes. And let's just start by checking in. Just see where you are today. Don't feel like you need to change anything. We just want to find our current present state. So notice if you're breathing shallow, if you're breathing deep. This is chill music. I guess this is chill. I might adjust it. But just continue to focus on it, just to see where you are. Keep doing that. I'm gonna switch to a different station. Take a deep inhale in through the nose and exhale out the mouth. Let it be an audible sigh if you can. It doesn't need to be loud, just audible. Let's continue a few more of these. to breathing in and out through the nose. And letting both the inhale and the exhale be about the same length. And we're gonna find a relaxing breath here. So for that, <clears throat> count the inhale just in your head, or you can do it out loud, but that might be hard. And then as you exhale, try and match that count. So count your exhale as well. And then start again, same thing. Count the inhale. Match the exhale to that inhale. And continue this a few more times. Let's continue to breathe deep. We can let go of the counting. We're still breathing in and out through the nose. 
And let's turn attention to the body. Scan through it. Move from the head to the toes. Go one part at a time. Just to see how you're feeling physically today. And we're not looking to change anything in the body. You might notice parts that are comfortable or uncomfortable, but we just want to be aware of them. And then as you're scanning, if you do find a part of the body you just want to be gentle with, make note and let it lead you through the practice today so you can make adjustments as you need for it. Good, and then if you're in a seated position, let's move to our backs. <clears throat> Once here, let's stretch through the body. So just take arms over the head, reach from fingers to toes. Oh. And then let's bring hands together. And we're gonna rub them together pretty fast so we can build up some heat. And once you feel like you've built up a little bit of heat, we're going to take the palms and place them gently over the eyes. Letting the eyes relax. And let's do it once again. So again, rubbing the hands together so you can build up some heat. And whenever you feel like you have some, Placing the palms over the eyes. And then <clears throat> releasing the hands. And let's come into knees to chest. We're going to draw both knees in. Placing hands behind the knee joint on the thigh. And take a moment. Rock side to side here. Just massage the back a little bit. Let's drop the feet to the mat. Find the ankles and knees in line with hip sockets. So it's about two to three inches between the feet. We'll place hands by our hips. And we're gonna flow through bridge. So on an inhale, lift the hips straight up as high as feels comfortable. On the exhale, roll back down one vertebra at a time. And let's take the arms over the head. Next inhale, we'll bring the hips back up, dropping the arms back beside the hips. And just continue that breath. Let's find two more of these. After the last one, we'll meet back with hips on the mat. Uh, once here, let's walk the feet together and we'll let the knees fall open to recline the butterfly, bring the soles of the feet together. Arms are going to come out to a T. We're going to flow through this. So on an exhale, draw knees and arms up, cross one arm on top of the other and find a hug across the chest. Inhale, let arms and knees open back out. Next exhale, cross the other arm on top. And just continue with the breath, switching the arms on each exhale. find two more. <clears throat> now to the last one, we can meet with the arms out. So let's draw the knees back together, walk the feet apart. So they're about hip socket distance again, and let's switch to a twist. So exhale, letting both knees fall to one side. 
and inhale to the other side and just continuing with the breath. Hello, welcome to anyone who's joining us. We've only just begun. You're here at the right time. protecting knees, please feel free to add some cushion. You can use anything you have. Blanket, a very thin pillow. <clears throat> I have a what's a meditation like foam pad thing. Uh, but, I'm actually not going to use it right now. Uh, but find joints stacked. So knees under hips, wrists under shoulders. We're going to flow through cat-cow. Starting with cat on the exhale, rounding through the spine. We'll inhale cow, curving through the spine. Just going with the breath, we're moving from the tailbone to the head. through both and then let's come back to a neutral spine and we're going to switch to lateral flexion so on an exhale looking back towards our feet inhale center exhale to the other side and just continue with the breath both sides. And then let's come back to center and let's switch to another twist. So we'll take the right hand, we're going to place it on the back of the head. On an inhale, sweep that right elbow up. Exhale, take the elbow towards the front of the left forearm. And then we'll again inhale it up and just continue with the breath. side. After the exhale, switch to the other side. Same thing. find one more. And after that last one, let's come back to child's pose. So sit back on your heels, forehead to the mat. And you can take a moment, rock side to side, massaging the hips. Inhale, let's go ahead and lift to down dog. <clears throat> so we'll curl toes under. We'll lift the tailbone to the highest point. Now let's alternate heel press. Pressing down on one heel, bending the other knee. Switching back and forth. Going with the breath. And every once in a while, once in a while checking back in with the breath. Because it's easy to want to hold your breath or to forget to breathe deep. But it's really one of the most important parts of yoga is the breath. Right, 
let's move through a plank flow a few times. We're just gonna round through the body as we come forward on an inhale to a full plank. Exhale, round back the way you came. Good, and just continue with the breath. Going at your own pace. You always can go at your own speed. You don't have to go at mine. Let's do one more. Coming back to down dog, let's go ahead and uh, walk to the top of the mat. And then let's step back with the right foot and find a kneeling lunge so you can drop the back knee here if you want. I'm gonna use blocks. <clears throat> you certainly do not have to have blocks, um, but you can also place your hands on something else. Anything that's stable, it could be a chair, it could be something in front of you. But then once here, we're just gonna move through this lunge. So inhale, we'll take hips back, exhale forward. Again, your hands could also be on the mat. I don't know if I said that. But just going with the breath. everyone thanks for being here it's a whole family unit <laughs> okay, let's find one more and let's come back to the lunge we're gonna bring the left hand to the left thigh and just roll through the shoulder so just doing circles through that shoulder try not to fall over like I almost did release that left hand <clears throat> we'll step back to forward fold and we're just going to switch sides step back to the left foot and we'll drop the knee to the mat and then same thing we're going to move through this lunge make sure the front knee stacks on top of the front ankle when you're in the full extent of this lunge on this side and then on the inhale go ahead and start flowing so you inhale to go back exhale forward and just always with the breath all movement with the breath <clears throat> if you're just joining us, we're doing a nice relaxing practice today. <laughs> that makes sense, Owen. I don't begrudge you that. But thank you for being here anyway. Okay, let's find one more of these. <clears throat> we'll meet back at our lunge. Let's bring the right hand to the right thigh and just roll through that shoulder. And then let's release this right hand back down. And let's step back to forward fold. And let's inhale to reverse swan dive. Bend knees, hinge from the hips, come up. And let's flow through chair a few times. Make sure we're warm, exhale, sit back, weight into the heels and hips. Arms sweep forward, we'll inhale back up. And just continue again at your own pace. Hello, welcome to anyone who's joining us. We're about done with our warm up here. Let's do one more beat. Let's meet back at the inhale and uh, we're going to find a couple of fun sensations. So exhale, swan dive down, then easy to come down. And let's step back to child pose or if you want to do the full version now, feel free. Good. Next inhale, we'll come forward to kneeling plank, shoulders over wrists, hips past knees. Shift the body weight forward a little bit more, bend elbows to kneeling crocodile, release hips and belly to the mat, and 
just use the core to lift the shoulders into the cobra. Hands mostly rest. Yes. Exhale, leave with the hips. Keep the back flat if you can as you come back to child pose. And then we'll step to the top of the mat. Forward fold. And on the inhale, reverse swan dive. Exhale, chair. Ooh. I keep putting my heater. Come back up. And then we'll do one more. Exhale, swan dive. Oh, I forgot monkey. Let's do monkey this time. Inhale, lift halfway. Hands on the mat or the shins. Torso comes about halfway up. Exhale, come back to down dog if you want, or child's pose like you just did. We'll inhale forward to full or kneeling plank. From full shift forward onto the toes. Exhale, crocodile, full or kneeling. Inhale, pull the belly button through, flip over with the feet, or up dog or low cobra. Exhale, come back over the toes to down dog or child's pose. And then we can walk or step to the top of the mat. Inhale, reverse, swan back. And exhale, chair. Good, let's come back up. Let's swan dive back down. Let's step back to down dog. Let's hold here and just breathe into the legs for a moment. Press shoulder blades towards the tailbone. Find those deep breaths. On the next inhale, let's sweep the left leg straight up and back. Exhale, draw the knee into the chest, we'll lift. We'll step through to our lunge. We're just gonna hold this runner's lunge. So again, hands on mat or I'm using blocks so you can place hands on something else if you want. But make sure the front knee stacks on top of the front ankle. And just focus on the breath, reaching through the top of the head. Breathing into the hips, you might get a bit of a stretch in the hips here. And then from here, let's come up, let's find Warrior Two. So this is where we're gonna use the wall. So let's uh, let's come up to Warrior Two first. So readjust the back foot. So it's at about parallel to the short edge of the mat. Left knee is bent, we'll pin wheel, right arm, and then the left. And then once here, this is our Warrior Two. What you can do is scoop back against the wall. And I don't really have quite what we need, so I'm just gonna kind of show you. But you want this back heel against the wall and the left foot against the wall and the body's against the wall. So you're kind of leaning up against it and you bring the arms out, sink down into this lunge. Good, and just letting the wall kind of help you find this position. It can be really nice and don't feel like you have to have both feet right up against it because sometimes that can mess with balance. <clears throat> but just find those deep breaths here. And if you're protecting shoulders, you can always use cactus arms, hands on hips, or at the heart instead. Those are always options. But let's, <clears throat> let's reverse warrior here. So pretty much everything stays the same. We're turning the left palm up, reach forward, and we're going to come up and back to reverse warrior. This back hand is just taking a break on the back leg. Left arm is to the sky, and you can still be up against the wall. But we're looking for the stretch in the left side. It's great doing it against the wall because it keeps you from turning the hips a direction you don't want to go. <clears throat> Find one more deep breath. Exhale to come back down. If you can, from the wall, pin lift the mat or scoot away from the wall. The back hand over the head, peel the back heel off the mat, come down to a lunge. Let's step back to down dog. I'm going to come back over here on my mat. You can, of course, scoot your mat closer to the wall, which is probably the best way to do it. Take a few deep breaths in down dog. Now I'm gonna switch sides now. So it's not my back to you, which you actually might also have to do depending upon where your wall is. And let's move through a vinyasa here. So full or kneeling, it's just the middle part of the sun salutation. Inhale forward to a plank, full or kneeling. Shift forward, exhale crocodile. Inhale up dog or low cobra. And exhale back to down dog or child pose. Good, then let's go ahead and inhale the right leg up. Exhale, draw the knee into the chest. We're gonna step through to a lunge. And I'm going to grab my blocks real quick. Ah. There we go. 
go. And we'll just hold this lunge. I'm always amazed at a pose like this that is so simple. This is one of the most foundational poses. But how much is happening here? There's a stretch in this hip flexor, there's a stretch in the back calf and foot. This front thigh is working. Uh, you can kind of feel a stretch in this hamstring here. There's a lot happening. Switch to warrior two, so readjust that back foot so it's about parallel to the short edge of the mat. <clears throat> right knee is bent, we'll pin wheel, left arm, and then the right. And then again, you can scoop back to the wall here, see if it's any different on this side for you. The same thing, this right leg, the right foot's up against the wall, the left heel's up against the wall in the back. And we're pressing down into both feet. Good. Don't feel like you have to be perfectly against the wall with the feet if, you're, if it feels like it's messing with your balance a bit. Again, practice arms, hands on hips, or the heart, they are always options. Good, and you can lean into the wall a little bit. This is a relaxing practice. That doesn't mean we're not gonna get some strength in. Good, let's go ahead and reverse warrior. Right palm up, come forward, come back. Up and back. Good, back hand is just resting on the back leg. You can still use that wall. The only bad thing about my wall is this is a heater. <laughs> and it feels a little warm. Don't recommend heater. Good, next exhale, let's come back to warrior two. Let's continue, back hand over the head, peel the back heel off the mat, find the lunge, step back, two down dog. <clears throat> Holding here for a few deep breaths to breathe into the legs and the back. through another vinyasa. I'll do the kneeling version this time. So starting in child's pose, or you could do down dog. Inhale to full or kneeling plank. Shift forward, exhale, full or kneeling crocodile. Shift forward, inhaling up dog or low cobra. And exhale back to down dog <coughs> or child's pose. And let's meet in down dog. And then from here, let's inhale the Left leg straight up and back. Exhale, draw the knee into the chest, and we're gonna step all the way through to our lunge. From here, we're gonna find pyramids. So you can use the wall for this one as well, but I'm gonna start here. Uh, so for pyramid, I'm gonna start with blocks. What we wanna do is step in with this back foot so it's flat with toes completely forward. You may need to walk hands up the leg first, come up even to standing to get the feet in the right position. Good. And then from here, you can hinge forward, bringing hands to the front thigh, to the shin, to something in front of you, or all the way to the mat. We want the hips at the same height. Uh, so here, there's some options on using the wall. So one is to use it, oops, stepping on my phone, to use it with hands on the wall. So I know you guys can't quite see this, but what I'm doing here is pressing into the wall. My torso is at about, it's about parallel to the mat. So you can do that. You could also turn around this way and use the wall to ground the back heel. So the back heel is right up against it. So it's up to you. A lot of this is about creating different awareness or sometimes it's about using uh, for support, all different kinds of things. We'll do more wall stuff as we get uh, towards the end of the practice with cool down. But holding here for a few deep breaths, keeping the spine straight. Exhale, let's bend this left knee and we're going to switch for triangle. So I'm actually going to turn around because we're going to use the wall for this one. Uh, again, if you don't have a wall, you don't have to. You can still do these poses without it. But for that, we're going to readjust the back foot so it's a warrior two foot. So again, same thing as before. Uh, the back heel is against the wall. The left leg is against the wall. More than mine because I have my heater in the way. Left knee, uh, you want it to be straight without locking. So walk hands up the legs so we can do that. And then 
whenever you're ready, spine is straight. We'll inhale, we'll sweep the right arm up and let the back go up against the wall. So these poses, it's really great to do this because it helps you feel how open the body is here. And you can use the wall for support as you find that. Good. This right hand can also be on the hip. We're looking for the stretch in this left leg, pressing into that right foot. Just find those deep breaths. This is one of my favorite poses. I kind of said that like an Irish person. I don't know why. <laughs> favorite poses. Let's find one more deep breath. On the exhale, we can just bend this left knee, turn the torso back to the mat, pick up the heel, find the lunge, and come back to down dog. <clears throat> Take a moment here. Let's just switch sides. So I'm gonna go ahead and come over here. We'll inhale the right leg up. Exhale, draw the knee in, and we'll step through to that lunge and we'll find pyramid to start. So I'm gonna grab my blocks real quick. It's the one bad thing about turning all over the place. So again, we're straightening out this front leg without locking the knee. You may need to walk hands up the leg so you can step the back foot in. Back foot is flat, toes are completely forward. So find wherever that is, however close your feet need to be together for that. And then <clears throat> you can hinge from the hips, hands can be on the front thigh. We are just looking for the stretch in this hamstring. You can have hands on blocks or all the way to the mat, or again, you can use the wall. So you can just place the back heel against the wall, or you can turn around the other way and place hands against the wall for some support. And you can kind of adjust, maybe I can show you from here. You can kind of adjust where you want to be. You don't have to be all the way down, you can be up higher. Just using the wall to kind of press into the feet. So it's up to you, I'll down this side. But just holding here. From here, let's switch to triangle. So bend the right knee a bit first. You can step back to the back foot. You're gonna readjust for warrior two feet and you can scoot to the wall for this. So turning that back foot so it's about parallel to the short edge of the mat. <clears throat> right knee, right toes are pointed forward. Right leg is gonna straighten out without locking the knee. Bring the torso up a bit higher. Find the right hand anywhere on the right leg except for the knee. Sweep that left hand to the sky. Stacking shoulders, finding that your heater is hot on top. Good. Left hand can also be on the hip. But use that wall, you can lean back into it a little bit. We're still looking for the stretch in that right leg. <clears throat> but use the wall to help keep the body open. One more deep breath. We exhale, bend the right knee and slowly turn the torso to face the mat. You might have to come off the wall a bit for that. We'll step back to down dog. Take another moment in down dog. And let's move through one more vinyasa. I'll do the full version this time. So down dog or child's pose. <clears throat> Inhale to a plank. Shift forward, exhale crocodile. Shift forward, inhale up dog or low cobra. Exhale back to down dog or child's pose. Good, from here let's walk to the top of the mat. On an inhale, let's reverse. Swan dive, we'll come up. Exhale, mountain. Good, we're gonna find a standing twist. We're gonna use the wall for this. So, uh, I'm gonna see if I can do it this way on my heater, but you wanna face the wall for this. So what we wanna do, is bend this right knee, and then see if you can extend the right leg out so the right foot's on the wall. It doesn't have to be as high as mine. You don't want to go above the hip. The knee can be bent. Don't feel 
not giving too much strength. It's just up against the wall. All right, so you can press into it a little bit and adjust so this left ankle, so my ankle's a bit behind my hip, see if you can, can't get it to where your joints are stacked. Good, then find a nice long spine. When you're ready, belly's gonna turn towards this front leg. Belly first, head last. Then you can bring the arms out. You can place this left hand on the left thigh, right hand on the hip, whatever feels comfortable. But use the wall to help with balance. Good, and just breathe deep. Sorry, I know you're staring at my back. Make sure this left knee doesn't lock as well. Make sure it's just at least soft. Next exhale, let's turn back to center. Release that leg, shake him out if you want. See if I can do it on this side. So same thing on the other side. I think I'm too close. So I'm actually gonna do it like this. So again, we're bringing the left leg up and we're extending it, placing it on the wall as high as feels comfortable for you. Find the long spine. Try and get joints stacked if you can. And then when you're ready, belly goes first towards the lifted leg. So to the left, both hands to the left thigh or open the left arm up behind you or place it on the hip if you want. But just holding here. Breathing deep. Now we have some dramatic music for our twists. It's important, twists are very dramatic. Good, next exhale, turn back around, release that foot, shake the legs out if you like. Good, then from here, we're gonna scoot back towards the wall. Don't get right up against it. Give yourself some space. We're gonna inhale both arms up and exhale, we're gonna swan dive down. And then once here, you can walk back a little bit so glutes are on the wall and you can kind of use it to help in a stretch here in the legs. But just let the head and neck release. Make sure the knee. You can cross arms or wrap them around the legs if you want. Then from here, let's walk forward a little bit so we can bend knees and come down to all fours. <clears throat> and then we're gonna find a camel pose using the wall. Hello, welcome to anyone who's joining us. So for this, I'm going, going to show it this way and then I'll turn around so you can see what my feet are doing. So I'm gonna scoot back so that my toes are curled under and my heels on the wall. And I'm gonna come up to kneeling position. For this, I'm definitely gonna use some cushion you can do the same. Make sure there's about two to three inches between the knees. Good, and we're gonna do a camel pose. We're gonna start with hands and fists, place them on either side of the spine at the bony part at the top of the hips. Squeeze the inner thigh a little bit to help support the core. Press elbows towards one another and shoulder blades towards one another. Lift the heart, press fists into the hips and we'll let the body fall back. Now, there's an option here, and this is a little bit more intense, so it's only if it's comfortable for you. And you want to avoid twisting if you can, you can bring the hands up over the head and bring them to the wall and press off. So it's sort of like doing a wheel pose on a wall. So I'm going to turn around this way so you can see it. So continue to hold if you're there. <clears throat> but what I'm doing is my toes are curled under my heels on the wall and then hands on either side here. And I'm just coming back. All right, so the same thing. And then of course, if you're placing hands on the wall, you're going over the head like this. So I'll stay here, but continue to do this on the wall. Let it support you a bit. <clears throat> Find two more deep breaths. Second exhale, gently release. 
And let's come back to the mat. Scoot away from the wall as much as you need so you can come back to child pose. We're just gonna let the back release for a moment. All right, next inhale, let's come back to all fours. We're gonna sink hips to one side. We're gonna swing the legs around and we're gonna turn around to face the wall. And for this, we're gonna find a hamstring stretch, but we want feet on the wall. So flexed feet, if you can see where my feet are here, right up against the wall. You wanna sit tall on these sit bones. So if you feel like you're falling backwards, elevate the hips, use anything you have. Roll up your mat, sit on a, a blanket, anything. So that's where we want to be. I'm going to turn this way so you can see me. I'll, I'll save this as my wall here, although I'm not going to press into it. <laughs> so sitting nice and tall, you might be getting the hamstring stretch here. If you are, feel free to stay. If not, you can walk hands down the legs. Just stop when the, excuse me, when the spine begins to round. And find those deep breaths. Feet should still be right up against the wall like this, which will help keep them flexed. They feel really nice, actually. is recommended for labor contractions. You know, I don't know, uh, Owen. Um, I would probably say uh, you would probably want to hold poses more than anything for that. Yeah, I don't know. That's not really something I ever learned. I can show you guys a goddess pose later uh, at some point, which can be really nice when you're pregnant. <laughs> um, I'll show that to you, but that requires a lot of props, so I can't do it easily right now. I think the biggest thing, as far as I know, with labor contractions is just breathing. Which I'm sure you already know. <laughs> Good, let's find one more deep breath. Oh, there goes my wall. I have a shitty wall, you guys. On an exhale, we're gonna come back up. So we're still facing the wall and we're gonna add a twist. So let's just bend the right knee. The left foot is still up against it, foot is flexed. This right foot can be on the inside of the left leg or you can cross it over the left leg. We want the spine to be nice and long. And we're gonna turn the belly towards this right knee. Belly goes first, head last. You can wrap this left arm around the leg, right hand can come behind the hip. And we just wanna sit nice and tall, so avoid leaning back on this hand. Find those deep breaths. Exhale, let's turn back to center. Let's just switch sides. Extend that right leg out. So again, it's right up against the wall. Foot is flexed. Left knee is bent. Left foot can be inside the right leg or cross over the leg. It's whichever feels best for you. Make sure the spine is long. When you're ready, belly goes first towards this left leg. Head last. Wrap that right arm around the left thigh. The left hand can go behind the left hip. Just avoid leaning back. Use that hand to keep yourself seated tall. It, has it? Yeah, that, that, that makes sense. I suppose you'd be taking some pressure off that way. So I did laser hair removal because my aunt did it for me for free. She owns a business. Um, and, uh, you know, I mean, it's essentially popping the hair in, in the um, follicle it can hurt for sure so one thing that they always told us to do you, you essentially distract yourself so it's like if you hit somewhere else it distracts you from that pain which sounds kind of funny but it kind of like evens out the pain in a sense i don't know that that's something that would help it's just a thought really what i mean is distraction in general 
Good. Next exhale, turn back to center and we can uncross the legs. And uh, now we're going to move to our backs. Let me think real quick about where we want to do that. I think we want to go ahead. We're going to do legs up the wall and we're going to use the wall this time. Uh, if you don't have a wall, you don't have to use a wall, of course. You can also use a chair or a couch or anything you put your legs on. I'm going to use a wall. If you have a blanket or a pillow or something that can elevate your hips a little bit, I recommend it. it feels nice. You don't have to have it. It's just an option. But if you do, place that right up against your wall, wherever you're going to go, and then get to the side of uh, that blanket or pad or pillow with your back against it. Try and get your feet and glutes up against the wall as much as you can. And then we're just gonna roll onto our backs so the hips are a little elevated. I would say elevate them high, like maybe an inch or so, even higher than I have, and legs up the wall. And once here, you really want the legs to be able to relax. So if you feel like the feet are falling off, mine often do that. Just scoot your butt away from the wall a little bit. All right, once here, we're going to find uh, a hip opener. So two options for this hip opener. It depends on which one feels best for you. You can just do a straddle. My wall is not good for this because I have my heater and then a door, but the straddle is just letting the legs fall open, feet flexed. Here, maybe if I turn this way, it'll be okay. Feet flexed, and you're essentially letting gravity find your stretch. Hold on, let me close this door. There we go. Ah, yeah. And just holding here, this feels too intense because it can be very intense. You can find butterflies, so bending the knees, bringing soles of the feet together. Use hands to keep the knees open. So it's up to you. I like this one. Ah. Just find those deep breaths. Ah, uh, yes. Oh, and that makes sense. Hopefully you guys will have the baby soon. I know you've had so many false alarms. <laughs> it's gotta not, it's gotta be miserable. Good, let's find two more deep breaths here. Then on the next inhale, let's bring, use hands, gently bring legs back together. Good, and then once here, we're gonna switch uh, to pigeon. So this is my favorite way to do pigeon. Draw the right leg off, cross the right ankle over the left thigh, and you're looking for the stretch in this right outer hip and glute. You can use this right hand to help keep this hip open, and then you can bend this left knee to draw the legs closer for wherever the stretch is for you. So you may find it back here, you may need to get closer, it's up to you. But keep this knee open, keep this foot flexed, and just breathe into that stretch in the right outer hip and glute. up the wall when you're using the wall like this. This is a restorative pose. Well, I hope so, Owen. <laughs> I hope that you have a newborn by then. These restorative poses are really restful for the body. I would do a whole restorative practice, but it requires a lot of props, so I don't want to make you guys feel like you need a bunch of props, but we'll do some more at some point. Good, let's release this leg and we'll just switch. Draw the left leg off, cross the left ankle over the thigh, and foot flex, knee open. And then bend this right knee as much as you need to. Use the wall to help bring the legs closer. Say we're just going to let both legs back to the wall and we're actually going to find final relaxation here on the wall 
Now, if for any reason that's not comfortable for you, you can always lay flat instead. So take the option that you need, but find where you can get comfortable where the legs can rest. And we're just going to let arms rest wherever you want. Close your eyes. Come back to the breath, breathing in and out through the nose, but don't force it. Just let it be what it needs to be. And turn your attention to right here, right now. We're not trying to close anything off or get away. We want to be here with what is. So notice what you hear, notice what you feel. And it can be anything. It can be somebody outside, it can be the music that you hear, but just let it come to you. Don't feel like you need to search for it. And then let's come back to those restorative breaths, those relaxing breaths, counting the inhale. And trying to match the exhale to that same number. And then counting the next inhale. And then trying to match the exhale to that inhale. And you can continue these breaths if you want or you can just go back to focusing on the senses, focusing on your surroundings. So you can hold for quite a while. It's really good to help release the back. It's reversing the blood flow a little bit. I mean, not reversing it. Your blood flow is going to flow the way it's going to flow. But Start to wiggle fingers and toes. Dad wrists and ankles, rotating them around. And let's stretch arms over the head, reaching through the body. Let's add the face, opening the eyes wide and the mouth, sticking out the tongue, taking a deep exhale. And then let's roll onto one side, walking the legs off the wall and take a moment here just to let the blood flow readjust. And whenever you're ready, you can use hands to come up to seated. And just come to an easy seated pose. Let's find a deep inhale here, sweeping arms up, exhaling hands back to the heart. Taking a moment just to check back, check back in after the practice. Thank you all for joining me and sharing your practice today. Namaste. Thank you guys. Hopefully you feel a little bit more relaxed now than you did before. That's the goal. So let me come over here so I'm not so far away. There we go. Yeah, 
I cannot see what I'm doing here. Okay, here we go, here we go. Thank you, guys. Yes, namaste. Uh, well, I hope you enjoyed it. If anybody has any questions, let me know. Oh, and Owen, the goddess pose um, is essentially, I'll show you real quick. It's a reclining butterfly like this, so I'll show you what that looks like. Reclining butterfly. But you want to place something behind the back so you're lifted up, so you're more at like, as opposed to laying flat like this, the camera is, you're more like this. Just because you don't, when you're pregnant, you don't want to put that weight on the, that vena cava um, vein. That's why you don't lay on your back when you're when you get to a certain level of pregnancy, um, so that it doesn't make you pass out. <laughs> uh, so basically, you want to be able to lift yourself up high enough, but it's a way you can rest on your back and kind of let the arms and everything be open, the body be open, so it can be nice and restful. Um, but I don't know if it will help with contractions or not. But it's a, it's a, it's an option. But yeah. Uh, oh, and I didn't mention this, but as you guys can see, I have this new goal. It was suggested by uh, David Plagel, actually, because my computer keeps crapping out on me when I'm streaming. <laughs> so, um, obviously, it's a long-term goal. It's uh, pretty high. But if you do enjoy yoga um, or you enjoy any of this and you feel that you can, any amount uh, is very, very helpful for me to continue to bring this to you and hopefully to continue to bring it to you in a better way in the future. <laughs> that is the goal. Um, there are a lot of things I would like to add, of course, but it will just take time. Um, but yes, any anything and everything helps if you can't uh, donate. You can also subscribe. Um, I do have, uh, as you saw a few, there's a namaste one. I do have some emojis. They need to be redesigned, which I am working on, but they are there for now. Uh, and also, um, also, if you can't subscribe and you can't, uh, donate following helps um, and also just spreading the word is very helpful get more folks in here especially into this this sports and fitness uh, category is a very uh, it's kind of a ghost town <laughs> but that's because it's kind of new yeah you're welcome oh good not yet I'm very glad that is the goal I, I thought today would be good for relaxing after the weekend but yeah um, oh, and I don't think I mentioned this, but the donation links are right below if you haven't seen them. There's one for Streamlabs and one for PayPal, if you don't want to use Streamlabs. But, yeah, I don't know much else. We'll have more yoga next uh, Thursday at 10 a.m., Tuesdays and Thursdays. And uh, if any of you are going to Gen Con, I'm going to be there, so I hope to see you there if you're going to Gen Con in, gosh, next week. Ah, oh, everything's happening so fast. Um, there's something else I was thinking of. I forgot. Oh, and I'll probably do some more cooking streams. I wanted to do one last week, but I ran out of time. And I also wasn't cooking anything. So, you know, that's part of it. Uh, but those are fun. I enjoy that as well. Um, yeah. Can't think of much else unless you guys have anything else. But again, I appreciate you being here and joining me. And... Yeah, I'll see you guys on Thursday, if not before. I also might do a craft stream at one point, so I need to make a little, um, I need to make an owl. Make a little clay owl, so I need to make one. So, maybe we'll do that. Ha, huh. well, I hope that you get to do that dream sooner or later, Owen. <laughs> Hi, Ovocop, you came in right for the ending. But welcome. You could do the VOD. It's nice, relaxing yoga. <laughs> we just did all the yoga. All the yoga. Ah, ooh, a meeting. That's probably less relaxing than yoga. Yeah, I get that, Owen. <laughs> that would do it for sure. I don't know, it could have been, been a relaxing meeting. You too, Bondo. Thank you for being here. All right, folks. Thank you. I'll see you guys very soon. Hopefully. Let's see if I can figure out how to work my stream. Bye.